Right then. So, um, tell me about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Fahad Babayna. I hail from Jordan. I'm affiliated with. Okay, so shall I have it? Look at me. Okay. So okay, tell so me we'll start it again. T tell me about yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Fahad Babayna. I hail from Jordan. I'm affiliated with Jordan's uh, National Information Technology Center. Mm -hmm. Uh, National Information Technology Center of Jordan is the right arm of the government in terms of uh, IT. Uh, we are the internet service provider for the Jordanian government. Uh, uh, we are the technical arm for the Jordanian government in terms of uh, IT services such as uh, hosting. Uh, we run the initiative of the Jordanian e-government operations program. Uh, we have an initiative called the Knowledge Stations, that which are computer labs that are distributed all around uh, Jordan uh, that aim at uh, closing the digital divide in rural areas. And also we are uh, the official registry for domain names under .jo. Uh, just recently we started working on uh, uh, the latest trends in names and numbering such as IPv6, enum and international domain names. Cool. So, um, why did you apply for the fellowship program? Okay, actually, when I looked at the work of the IETF, I found that the, many of the discussions uh, in the halls of the IETF uh, 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 include IPv6 and, uh, uh, and a little bit of international domain names, let's say issues such as uh, browser issues, email issues related to bidirectional languages. Uh, uh, my community speaks the Arabic language and Arabic is actually written from right to left as opposed to the English language which is written from left to right. So when we try to apply uh, international domain names in uh, web browsers or in uh, emails, uh, things tend to change in their direction. So when I looked at the various working groups and the meetings that are held during the IETF, I found that uh, many of the discussions uh, in the IETF meetings are involved more or less with what I'm working on. Uh, actually, I'm uh, heading Jordan's uh, uh, IPv6 task force, and uh, I can see that many of the meetings during the IETF are around IPv6. And then comes, um, I, I, I also applied for Jordan's IDN application. Uh, we applied for Dots and Urdun in Arabic, and uh, we should be approved actually anytime soon. And there are discussions about, uh, there are discussions uh, around. Uh, international domain names, as I said, uh, like uh, web browser applications and email applications. And then comes the part of enum, which is uh, number mapping. Uh, I believe there's one session on enum, but it should be quite interesting to see what people are working on at the moment. Cool. So um, how's your ITF experience been so far? Actually, yesterday was day one. and. Uh, I was kind of surprised the way people discuss issues. Sometimes discussions get really heated. Uh, I, th I, I always thought that engineers tend to uh, tackle issues in a more engineering sense way, uh, but I was kind of surprised that they do have a sense of humor. <laughs> and uh, the way they discuss some issues at times uh, tend to be heated. But then, I mean, if you look at it from a different angle, it's just that uh, they are kind of devoted to their work and they are passionate and they would like to get the results out there as fast as possible. That's great. So, I mean, have you, um, I mean, have you really got stuck in and gone to loads of sessions? Um, actually, I mean, yeah, uh, if, if we look at the agenda of the IETF meetings, um, you probably have only four meetings per day. And to be honest with you, not all sessions interest me. I'm, I'm mostly interested in IPv6 sessions, DNS operations sessions, and uh, enum sessions, along with uh, anything having to do with international domain names. So yesterday I attended four, all the four sessions that were running, and uh, I mean I just could attend one session at a time. You could probably do remote participation and listen to audio from a different session, but then uh, keeping your mind at two different sessions isn't easy really. So I prefer to s stick to what interests me more. So any, any other surprises in terms of how it, how it works? Uh, well, not surprises, but uh, I'm kind of overwhelmed with the people that are attending the meeting. I mean, I'm, I'm coming across uh, people who are really driving the internet forward. I mean, people, I was, I was looking forward to meet uh, Vin, Dr. Vincerf, but unfortunately he's not here. Uh, 
I've come across other guys like uh, Dr. Steve Crocker, Dr. Dave Crocker, uh, Dr. John Clemson, all interesting people. And yeah, so it's quite interesting to meet all these guys. Cool. So um, how do you think you'll be able to apply what you've learned here this week back when you get back home? Uh, well, actually, as I said, we've be, uh, uh, we have started in Jordan on, on all these initiatives, uh, but it's sometimes good to see how the internet community tackle issues, uh, what are the latest trends. Uh, I attended a session yesterday on uh, applications, and it was quite interesting that people were discussing uh, a vast array of issues from uh, DNS operations to uh, DNS applications to web browser applications and it was quite interesting to see how people were really searching for the smallest details so uh, I think it's good to I, I think these sessions could help us uh, help me in a way that uh, it guides me to what RFCs I can read and uh, what best practices I can use uh, I wouldn't say that the first day would give me a full uh, visualization of how I'm going to tackle things, but uh, I would say that the, f uh, the future looks bright. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to add, you know, maybe you know, a well, message to people who are thinking about applying? Yeah, okay, so actually this is the, f this is the second time I applied for the IETF. On the first time I was, uh, I was not accepted, but then, honestly be spoken, uh, uh, I didn't uh, show uh, what it takes to really be worthy of getting an, uh, a fellowship uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, but since, uh, I mean, these days I'm working on all kinds of heavy initiatives for my country. Uh, I would really I'd like to thank Isaac for providing me the opportunity with uh, attending this meeting through their fellowship program. Uh, I think uh, their orientation is. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, it, it helped me a lot in trying to break the ice. Um, I've been accustomed to attending other uh, international events, uh, but uh, I found the atmosphere at the IATF to be extremely friendly. I mean, uh, they, they hook you up with a uh, mentor who is a previous IATF attendee or an IATF ISOC uh, fellow. Uh, the dinner was uh, an exciting. Uh, was a was a good way to even break the ice even further and get to know all the big guns in the in the community. And uh, when you walk in around the hallways and you try to talk to people, they are all friendly and they tend to answer you, even though at times you are on a different level than they are in terms of uh, uh, the knowledge they have and the knowledge you have. But uh, it's, it's, they are all friendly. I mean, uh, they, they will answer you and they will uh, provide you with, with as much help as possible. Perfect. Anything yeah. else? Uh, that's all. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think this is worthy of being on a website.